When an earthquake strikes, it can cause disruption of electricity and communications, infrastructural damage, serious injuries and fatalities, as well as lingering emotional trauma. Because an earthquake can strike at any time without warning, on today's program, we share safety tips for you to keep in mind. It is very important to know what to do before, during, and after an earthquake to ensure we stay safe. Before an earthquake occurs, an emergency response plan should be in place, which should be understood by all occupants of a building or institution. It's also important to select safety wardens to manage the movement of personnel inside and outside of a building and to check the building before re-entry. Safety wardens should also conduct periodic earthquake drills to ensure everyone is clear about what to do when a disaster takes place. Another tip is to identify safe spots at home, work, and frequently visited locations. These spots include under sturdy tables or desks, structurally sound or strongly supported doorways, and inside of a small room or hallway. Parents and guardians are also encouraged to talk to their children about natural disasters and steps they should take to protect themselves. It's very important that uh, our teachers and our parents have this conversation with our children. This is a very important uh, you know, practice that we should develop in our children. And indeed, right across our public and private sectors, it is a requirement that you have safety wardens appointed in your institutions. You should now be carrying out your drills and being prepared. Whenever an earthquake occurs, it normally stirs up strong feelings amongst persons who experience it. These feelings are sometimes manifested in depression, anxiety, stress, difficulty breathing, chest and muscle pains, feeling faint, dazed, lightheaded or angry, as well as stomach aches. We recommend to Jamaicans who may be experiencing that those symptoms to firstly, they can consult their doctor whether in a private or public space. But there are other uh, less intense ways to manage these types of mental wellness or mental health challenges. Um, talking to a friend or family member, I encourage others to remain safe, getting rest, re-establishing a return to routine, and just asking for help if you need that help. The precautions that you should take during an earthquake will be determined by where you are when the shaking begins. During an incident of this nature, we know that it gets a little bit dramatic and persons want to call each other, but we are asking persons not to use um, cell phones during these kind of incidents unless it is absolutely necessary. Desist from making prank calls to the emergency services such as the police and the Jamaica Fire Brigade. What it does is tie up resources that are needed elsewhere and so it makes our job that much more difficult. If you are inside of a building, use the drop, cover and hold technique and stay put until the shaking stops. If you are outside, stay at least 10 feet away from any building from which window, glass and other debris could fall. Move away from trees, street lights and power lines. Crouch down and cover your head. If you are in a vehicle, park in a location away from trees, wires, buildings, bridges and overpasses. Stay where you are with your safety belt fastened until the earthquake is over. Never stop under or on a bridge. Be patient, be courteous, obey road traffic regulations, follow the directions of the police, yield immediately to emergency vehicles and do not block intersections. After the earthquake, exit buildings by using the stairs and not elevators. Inspect buildings for cracks, shifts in pillars, posts and other beams and structural members and seek a professional assessment if there is any damage. And also to ensure that you are checking for leaks, especially gas leaks if you have uh, gas lines running through, running through your homes. For more information about what to do before, during, and after an earthquake, visit the OddPEMS website at odpem.org.jm.